Hello. Yo. What's going Yo. on? What is this, Brendan? What do we call this whole thing? Uh, episode seven of the season, guys. Uh, and it's been what two weeks? Our fan base is mad. Are you uh, all the viewers <laughs> happy with us? The two people. <laughs> hey, man, on average, we do about 30, 40. Mm-hmm. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're sorry we've been uh, out of the, the limelight for a couple weeks. We've been very busy. Brendan's got a lot of things going on. I do, too. I had to get new tires for my car. Uh, Brendan, you were working around the house one of the nights. Hey, man, it life happens, right? Yep. Now we got school starting for the kids. Yep. Gymnastics, soccer, Bad football, Girl Scouts. American I just, career. I just hope I get some of those cookies. Mint. Oh no, I can't do it. Mint and chocolate don't mix. Oh, bro. What about peanut butter? Yeah, I do the peanut butter. I like the peanut butter. Those are good. Uh, Actually, there's a smaller one that I had last year. Oh, that was the best. It's it's getting into that season. I love it. it the cookie season, not the silent season, but the cookie season. <laughs> um, remember, in like when we were growing up in school, like at the cafeteria, they used to have um, the cookies wrapped up, like the butter crunch ones, the peanut butter ones. Remember those? Like you get uh, the or in the wrap. Wrap. They, they used to make those in the. I forgot the brand, but they made like the Crunch brand or whatever. But they made them in the peanut butter ones. I think it had like the blue label on it or the orange one. So good, and they still make them. But I never see the peanut butter ones anymore. I'm so uh, angry about that. <laughs> yeah, we just had um, we had the vocational school um, bake the uh, brown uh, bake the cookies right before lunch, so they came out warm and everything. Oh, it was perfect. I didn't know you went to vocational. No, there was a vocational next to us. I went to the regular high school. Oh, got it. It was connected. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So some days you're working on some writing and math, and if you're bored, the other day you're going up to the vocational and swinging the hammer, cutting some wood. Yeah. Good for you, dude. Balancing both. I love it. Well, I didn't do it. Well, you got there, orange soda. What are you drinking there, kid? Uh, can we get a Sam Adams sponsor for this kid? Come on. Oktoberfest is out. <laughs> yes, your commercial for the beer. Um, but anyway, yeah, cookies. <laughs> cookie season. It's uh it's uh let me know if uh Scar's got some cookies he's selling. Um, I'd like to buy some. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hit everybody up. Yeah, put me down for some cookies. I'll do a mint chocolate chip and and a peanut butter. There might not be any peanut butter left. I might take them all. My customer, w- w- what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been busy. We've been bit. Bu- what did what did we do a couple weekends back, Brendan? You want to tell everyone? Yeah, I kept messing it up. The last podcast, it, we had. A, I, I almost just did right now. It was a show in Rhode Island. I keep saying Connecticut. But uh, yeah, Providence, Rhode Island, played with uh, Extinction AD. Um, what was the other band's name? The Outlaw- Horse Fight. Horse Fight, yep. Yeah, Outlaws. And Gal from Outlaws, yep. Yeah. Another That's fun good- show. Yeah, I really like that Alchemy venue. It's cool. I like how it's set up. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of shows that come through there. Uh, a, a, a non point actually played there a couple months back. I don't know if you know this. They played at Alchemy with um Scarecrow Hill, uh, wow, third knuckle, a couple other bands in the area, but yeah, non point played there. But um, we had a good time. We appreciate you know intrinsic events, John, for getting us on that bill. It, I, I didn't realize Extension AD was doing a mass tour like I, well I, I mean they did a few weeks but it turns out they went out to like um they're from new york they did upstate i was following them on social and um they they went out to chicago they oh, wow. ohio they, they were doing around I, I thought it was just like a new england thing for them but they were going around man yeah the sound guy was awesome too yeah yeah sound guy was, 
Vinny. His, his name was Vinny. Vinny, a lot of Vinnies. Um, Vinny, if you're watching this, bro, we need your contact. You did an awesome job. Stellar, organized, fabulous. You're out on the floor with the, the iPad. You cared about the sound. We love that, man. Yeah, even uh, some people are saying best sound they have heard us. Heard, yeah. I got yeah. heard too. So we got to get in touch with Vinny. He needs to be our FOH. Mm. Yeah. He could do it. He was, he was well-paced. He was patient, you know, um, patient, I should say. And, uh, oh, God, my mop. You don't want to see this. Um, yeah, it was great. Uh, there was something else I want to say. Oh, yes, that's right. You said you heard Extinction AD on Liquid Metal the next day when we were driving. Yeah, I did. Space. So I found out. I don't know if we talked about this yet or if I mentioned this to you, but uh, Matt Heafy or Keefy. Or, uh, is it Keefy or Heafy? Heafy, right? Heafy, yeah. Heafy. Uh, from Trivium. I know you were saying, I think that he introduced the song on Liquid Metal. I found out. I read into it. Um, he, I don't know what he did. I think he sang on one of Extinction 80s tracks. Oh, collaborated with them. I read into it. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, we need to get some collab. I was just gonna say, we yeah. need to do that. We need to get like a Doc Coyle solo on a bridge or have someone sing with us. Or if Doc, if you're listening, uh, wink, wink. Um, but uh, sing. What did you say? We'll have him sing. Yeah. yeah. He did the Aerosmith cover. Um, did you see that? He dropped the Aerosmith cover and he, he released it and everything. It's pretty cool. I feel like it maybe. He was dressed in a business suit and he's eating ice cream. Oh, no, I didn't see that one. No. Go look it up after. Yeah, check that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, no, we we need some sort of collaboration. We need to get... We were just talking about songs and th uh, strategies before we got on this thing. That could be a strategy. Maybe we try to uh, have a guest come on one of the tracks, you know, to help, uh, you know, uh, uh, get that, uh, get the listenership up there. Yeah. I know they probably oh. charge a penny, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something reasonable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I love that. That's an, that's an idea that can go on the board. I, I would love to do something like that. James Hatfield. J James, if you're listening, Q Prime Management or whatever, check it out. Um, is it Q Prime? Oh, yeah, I think it is Q Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Alchemy was a blast. Um, we had a good time. There's a, a, a show. I'm not going to make the name the show, but there's a show out there in Connecticut that we really want to play. If you're watching. If you're watching, anyone that's watching, I'm not going to say anything else. It's end of September 28th. I feel like you mentioned it to me. I don't remember. Here's the work in Brendan's here, head. Mm, okay. Well, that's that's all we're going to say. If we can I get can't it. remember. Great. We're working on it. But um, want to get to Connecticut, want to get to Maine, New York City keep this thing rolling you know mm -hmm. right yeah you with me I'm with you um i i have a topic actually uh I, and i don't want to i don't want it to sound like i'm crapping on anything because that's not the goal of this podcast we're 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 peaceful people but i got a real issue there's a, an event i won't name no, that i saw on no Facebook. name no name event um, where they're having some bands and individual guests jump on to play, but like four or five of the bands out of the uh, the ten are from bands that have broken up. It's how much? Oh boy, you 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 threw the name out. We're gonna have to edit this out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, well, I'll, 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 I'll put I'll, I'll put yeah. a like a thing there to block out my uh bleep. You can bleep bleep it. Yeah, I can bleep and block my my mouth. <laughs> bleep it out. Yeah, if you can. That, that, that's actually that'd be good. Do do the test. Look, I'm not gonna talk trash. I'm not. I'm just gonna say though, I really struggle with it because there's so many bands like us 
that are doing things that have music a little on, you know, testing the waters with radio. You know, we got the music cues thing going on. Again, not making this about us, not trying to sound arrogant, but we work hard to where we need to get. And we'll put the blinders on and keep doing so. But I really struggle to see events that put people on that come from bands. You know, some of them were established, don't get me wrong, but other bands, they barely scratch the surface, but they somehow have a quote unquote name. And they're prioritizing those bands that are or people from those bands that have broken up when there's so many bands out there that are killing it right now that deserve a shot. You know why? Because everyone's all friends. Uh, no, I, 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 I get that. But this is the problem with the with this rock industry sometimes. Yeah, it is. You know, and I, it's who you know. I get all that. But this is it's sad to see some bands not be able to make it to that next step or get more rock bands out into the scene to do what they need to do because there's just so much politics and so many you know, barricades from you being able to make it to that next step. But like, this is a new level for me. I, I mean, I could see if a, a, a well-known band broke up and then they're getting back together and got at it. That's one thing, but you're talking about bands that are like completely done. And I don't know if they're getting back and they're playing it. And I just, I don't know, man, like, does that seem right? I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't ethically think that's right. And politically, I mean, it's just sad. It's sad mm -hmm. to see. Um, but I don't know. I just wanted, it was heavy on my mind. I wanted to put out a post about it, but I don't want to start crap. I'm not talking crap about anyone. I'm just sharing my thoughts simply. And I think that's what podcasts are about, obviously. Right. So um, it just bothered me. I, I don't know how you feel about it uh, outside of the, like, who, you know, thing. But um, I mean, I think there's some, don't get me wrong. There's people in that list are deserving. There's definitely people in that list are deserving, but I just, I think it's like, We'll never see newer music come to the top if we if they keep doing the same things that they're doing, and just because they had a had a thing at one point, and now they're going to try to rely on that like ten plus years later, when there's actually bands out there killing it and doing great things, and they they you know they don't blink at them, they just keep moving on, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got a story, yeah. but I mean, yeah, right, yeah. It, it, I would have to mention names for the story, so I'll leave it to the end when yeah. we're not recording, but I got a story for you. Just remind me. Unless you want me to just cut it out. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. No, we, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll ask you at the end. That's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, but we'll, we'll bleep both the other thing from earlier. <laughs> Uh, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. We're talking about shows. I just I had to bring it up. Not everything's gonna be uh, sunshine and rainbows, but I I just you know life's unfair. I get that it's not fair, but I, I just think there needs to be a shift. Guaranteed. I'm sorry. You said life's not fair. I'm like, yep, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. I mean, I'm hoping hard work pays off. You know, that's all we can do, right? And continue to build the name and do what we can. But anyway, put all that stuff aside. Um, yeah, yeah. So just like I said, we're trying to trying to put some more shows out there. Brennan and I were just chatting before we got on the horn here, as they say, the horn. And uh, we're in the middle of working on, um, you know, shifting into the music discussion. We got another song uh, almost ready to go. Jeremy's currently working on vocals for it right now. We did drop a like a quick, quick intro sample on social media the other night, but um, we're working through another idea. Brennan's got a inventory Google Drive of ideas that are infinitive, uh, and they just keep going. Kind of like Kirk Hammett when he lost his phone. I Don't put that photo on you, bro. I still can't find my passport, the uh, the external hard drive. Oh, no. I still can't find it. But luckily, all these songs are on my computer. Yeah. And plus, you, you, it's a Google Drive. It's, you know, cloud, right? And it's... Well, those ones, yeah. Those ones right. I shared with you guys are in the Google Drive. Right. So, that's good. But you, 
you know, aside from the, the worrying of that, um, you got a bunch of ideas in there, man, right? You got a mix of all different tunes. Yeah. Got light ones, got heavy ones, got fast ones. Yeah. And stuff that we can work from. Yeah. People want to hear, right? They do. Maybe if we do this uh, Patreon thing, maybe you guys can hear me jamming out to them at night. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. We're thinking about Patreon, guys. Let us know what you think. Maybe we'll have to put a poll up, Brendan, on some of these things. But um, we're thinking about doing some sort of Patreon setup here for, for the for the people that want to see more in-depth content and a VIP experience. Um, and then, yeah, so we're working on other songs to drop. Want to keep that cadence going. We're still got some things going with In Flames, as you, many of you might have heard through social media. It's currently being played on Music Choices Rock Channel, which is part of Xfinity and I think some other cable stations, but that's pretty cool. That's huge for, for the song. So if you're at a barbecue or you're at a restaurant and you see Music Choice on, check it out. Rock Channel, it's on TV. That's great. And we're trying to get other things going there too as our, you know, what we can do internally as a band. Um, what was that fact on the uh, Music Choice thing? Oh, about my, about David? Yeah, what did it say? It's the David's first rock concert was uh, the Nixons and King's X. Oh, I was going to comment on that. Like, oh, nice fact. I, I, that must have been in like one of our bios. I never gave them that fact. <laughs> they must have heard that from a, a, one of the um, bios or something on, on our content. But I, uh, it's funny. I try to actually, I don't mind sharing this, but I try to get us on that King's X show at Tupelo in Derry, New Hampshire. I don't know if you saw that. They're playing, uh, I think it's like September or 17th or 18th. Mm. And they already got, they got the lineup, you know, they got the package respect, but I actually took a screenshot of that after they emailed me and I sent to them and said, Hey, have a great tour. It's all good guys. Love you guys. Uh, keep us in mind for the future. Also, by the way, our singles on music choice. <laughs> and here's a fun fact. And I said, oh. I said, enjoy or something like that. And I'm hoping they'll come back and say, Hey, you want to play? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or or we'll put you on guest list. Come by. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be funny. Um, oh, I'll see yeah. There we go. Is that better? Is that better volume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm working. I'm fine. There we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, kind of I'm, disappeared for a second. Yeah, I'm fine tuning my audio, so Brennan has an easier time of editing the videos because I guess I was coming across loud one of the nights. So just trying to level off all the audio because I don't have a snazzy mic and windscreen like Brendan and the headphones, and he's got the whole like Area 51 set up over there. I, I'm just I'm working. I, I like I said in podcast like number three, I'm living out of my car these days, so it's been a bit rough. <laughs> been rough <laughs> when people actually think that i wonder hmm. it's all about perception yeah <laughs> i'm kidding i don't live out of my car he lives in a van down by the river by the river yeah lives in a van down by the river absolutely um what else is there pending i i feel like there's so much going on i just i i can't even think about it i don't know um, I mean, we want to play more shows, so if anyone's got shows, hit us up. Hit us up, yep, hit us up, play the shows, doing the New England rounds, doing some radio. We're working on another website that's coming, just trying to stay busy. Um, Patreon, Patreon. I'm trying to think of, you know, the topic of ideas outside of the box. I actually saw a band on TikTok kind of segueing here. Um, I forgot the name of them. Damn it. Um, it was a metal band, and the, the singer was also a flutist. It was playing a flute during the breakdowns. It was the most amazing thing I ever saw in my life. 
I, that's the kind of stuff we need. All right, Jeremy has to learn how to play the clarinet. The clarinet or a flute or something. Yes. <laughs> like right before the breakdown, he's like. <laughs> play play <laughs> jazz flute. <laughs> um. Oh, I think I lost your audio again. Here we go. I'm back. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, this. There you go. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was gonna say uh, that uh, Silly Goose, the band Silly Goose. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They got that record deal uh, with Blue Grape Music. You know. Congrats to them. That's exciting. Um, but I put some up on my my social media, my personal accounts. Um, I saw like three or four bands on TikTok playing at like Taco Bell. Yeah, I saw McDonald's. that. McDonald's. It's like, guys, let Silly Goose have their thing. Okay. Yeah. And honestly, Silly Goose wasn't even really the first ones to do that. Okay. That band at Denny's did that. I don't even remember. Who that remember was. the meme where it's like let's f s h i t up at Denny's. Let's f shit up at Denny's, and the, it's a hardcore band. Oh yeah, I think so. They were. I don't even know the name of them, but they were the first ones to really like play in a restaurant and get people going wild. <laughs> okay, uh, Denny's. Yeah, so that was like the first, and then uh, Silly Goose came out of nowhere. Actually, I take it back. I was talking about the viral thing. Like, it's hard. we haven't really seen a lot of bands in the space do viral stuff. Silly Goose went viral by playing McDonald's, Arby's, Bucky, Bucking, whatever that place is. I don't know. Out in the Midwest, they would play and get shut down, and then they would get people videoing them all over the place. And it definitely that's the kind of stuff like that helped their story. I mean, they got they got awesome music. Uh, like I like that song "Tsunami," but sometimes it requires multiple things to sort of get you that attention. And they built the base doing it. They built fans doing it. And uh, I've always had that idea. Like I've always flirted with the idea. It's like, guys, remember saying to you and Jeremy, I'm like, back then, like, oh, we should rent a float. And jump on in New York City and play in front of all the label offices just as a joke. But, like, you never know what could come from that. You know, we might get arrested, but for mm -hmm. sound ordinance or told stop, I mean, what's what's going to happen, you know? I'd uh, love to do something like that. Stop at each place for, like, two minutes to do one song and then move on. I remember that. We actually looked for a truck. We did. We were going to do it. We were going to do it. And I don't think we should not. I think we should go out with a big bang and try that at some point <laughs> <laughs> i uh, to that point i'm bringing this up i'm glad this is all flowing as a topic by the way um you know the um recycled percussion from new hampshire no. the three or four guys that it's like stomp in the blue man group but they're a local out of um new hampshire recycled percussion so they're they're like four, a group of three to four guys. They, they, they're from, I think originally from Manchester or Concord or one of those areas. And they, they go around locally and they do shows like, like what stomp does and whatnot. And they were actually on America's got talent and uh, they've been around for quite a, a while now. And uh, they, they tour. And I saw them the other day on uh, Facebook live. They were on a trailer playing their percussion Going up 93. Going, they went by Salem. They did Derry, Manchester. They were on the highway. That's like 10 times worse than what I'm recommending. Okay? Wow. They were on the highway standing up on a trailer bed playing their drums Jeez. in the wind. Like 60, 70 miles per hour on the highway in the slow <laughs> lane. Were they strapped in? I, 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 yeah, it looked like it, but they got away with that. Yeah. Why couldn't we get away with um, going down to New York and just cruising around down the city and just playing playing around and see what happens? I mean, it's already loud there anyway, so, right. yeah. I mean, we're just going to get hit with a, hey, you got to stop this. Are, yeah. are they really going to arrest us? Come on. I mean, getting around New York City with a flatbed truck might be difficult, but... That might... I, I hear that. I do. But... 
Got to take risks. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-oh, Brandon's on the 56K modem. There he is. He's back. Oh, did I freeze? You froze a little bit, yeah. Um, But also, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, kind of jump in here, but indirectly related, uh, the Recycle Percussion, they... They they actually have a great story. They um, who's the dude that's still alive uh, and runs the business for Jordan's Furniture? Is Elliot? Yeah, Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. So I read into the story about Recycle Percussion, and before they won America's Got Talent, the singer was saying. Uh, who's trying to get funds like we're doing as a band, right? To get out there. And Elliot like loaned him 30 K before America's got talent. Like he somehow knew him. Oh, Oh, I know what it was. He used to play perform. Elliot has camps for kids. And he asked him to go play for the camp and he did. And Elliot loaned him 30 K and never asked for it back. And ultimately that's what led them to take their next step. Uh, to America's Got Talent. That's I really that was a great Elliot. I know, right? That would be great. I met Elliot uh, with Morgan one time. I remember uh, that, yeah. We were sitting on the couch. I had the Seven Dust shirt on after that <laughs> tour. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I met him. He was a, he was a good dude. Um, but, yeah, no, I just thought that was a great story, like hearing stuff like that. I thought that was kind of cool. But, hey, anyway, if they can do it on the flatbed truck... I think we can do a little cruising around New York and uh, F some shit up. Just got to find a flatbed. Yeah. You got one, right? No. Hey, can I you got, put... yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, good. No, I, yeah, I remember we were looking at uh, U-Hauls to see um, like if we had any that we can that didn't have the sides on them because I get the damaged ones where I was working at the shop. Yeah. And we take the sides off and all that, but they still run. So we're thinking about taking one of those. But uh, I I couldn't get the okay. And then we're looking at renting flatbeds and yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I love to do that. I mean, are you still about that idea? You, you want to go to New York and do that? Hmm. I don't know. New York City, I feel like we'll get in an accident and I'll, we'll fall off the flatbed. Yeah, we could, we'd be going slow. Hmm. Every time we talk about it, though, it just reminds me of Ferris Bueller. We should, <laughs> we should do Chicago. Hey, we could we could make it a state by state kind of thing. We can go to different states and do it. All the yeah. similar cities. I mean, there's a there's a stage. It's like a like a hat shell, uh, half shell or half shell, whatever you call those, in uh, Method. We should just yeah. go into it one day and just stop playing. Yeah, I know they got one up in Salem. Oh, not Salem. Um, Hampton. They got all those. They got them everywhere. Which. It'd be cool to play. I always thought about just going into a mall and setting up and playing too before security escorted us out like an ally universal or something. (laughs) Maybe we should just become street performers. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You get the uh, the bucket drums though. I've played the bucket drums on Land Sound before. Oh, yeah? Like, I, 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 it was like some homeless guy just playing them, and I went up and I'm like, I gave him some money. I said, you mind if I jam on these? I, I had a few to drink. I was with a, with a bunch of friends. And I think there's a, a picture of me doing it. I had uh, my mohawk and I had the dress shirt on. And I'm, I'm drumming away on the pickle barrel, you know? Oh, jeez. Is it just a picture or is there a video of it? I think there's just a... Oh, wait, there might be a video of it. Oh, we got to get that video. Oh, I, I can go look for that. I think it's in the deep... It's in the depths of Facebook somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's, it's on there. Facebook? I think it might be, yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm on Facebook. So, yeah, you continue. I'm going to look. 
Yeah. I was, dude, I was like 22, 23. It's oh, like, so it was a long time ago. Long time. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to be searching for an hour, bro. <laughs> Were you tagged in it? Uh, I think Vinny tagged me in it. I think Carino. Vinny! Yeah. Um, I'm not seeing it. I see old videos of us playing, but. This one, what are you doing in this one? I don't know what you're doing in that one. Oh, it's still playing. Get out of here. <laughs> what about this one? Let's see. I can probably share my screen. Mm -hmm. Share it up. All right, let's see. I just thought of a great uh, riff of the week. Oh, I got a great one. <laughs> I got a really good one. I'm pretty stoked about it. Okay. Oh, wow. You see my and, screen? Yeah. That one. <laughs> Dang, no. <laughs> that was when we made the If You Leave Me On video. Yeah. And there's old cool. videos of us Josh, playing Josh back on the here. Drums. Josh on the drums. Yeah, I don't see no. Yeah, I'll have to look for it so you can like edit it in while we're talking somehow. Was, yeah. I'll find it and I'll send it to you. It's somewhere. It's somewhere out there. You can always like plaster it on top of while we're talking, right? If you find it, you can overlay it. If I find it, yeah. Yeah, I can overlay it. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll go look for that. It. You need a cover photo for this episode, by the way, too. Is that what's that I don't mean? Know. It's like a Lady Gaga kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, you see my shirt. What's it? What? No, I. Oh, is that made? It, oh, it's Star Wars. Yep. R.I.P. James Earl Jones. Oh, dude, I saw that. That's horrible. A, a legend. Yeah. Too I said we said to a, a guy at work today. Oh yeah, yeah. James Earl Jones died. He goes. Uh, that name sounds familiar. Who, who, what did he do? I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Darth Vader, Fanlot, the Field of Dreams, Mufasa. No lie, James Earl Jones was like, he started human, like, started life. Everyone was after him, you know, mm. like, he's the guy. And he had a stutter too when he was younger. Yeah, yeah, he was a great actor, amazing. Yeah. Um, you're talking about shirts, though. Check this out. You ready for this? I saw the 69 shows. Oh, is that your new one? Yeah, it's a new one that came in. Very uh, nice. Yeah, so a little backstory here. I figured we could talk about it. Um, we used to be endorsed, sponsored, whatever you want to call it, by this uh, clothing company called 69 Chosen. It was great. They used to do, like, designs for us, um, and then they would put their brand on it, too. Um, but they, uh, they just officially, they went out of business a few years ago and the, the, the woman that we work with, thank you, Lisa, she, uh, was running the rest of it and she decided to, um, uh, I think they fo fo folded up the business and they wanted to ship out the rest of the shirt. So I said, Hey, we used to be on your roster would love whatever you have left. So I, I grabbed this. I like it, but you have a pretty sweet cut shirt, like the arms cut off that you wore a taffeta i wish i could find mine but i probably don't fit in it anyway but i'm pretty <laughs> jealous that you still have yours um those were awesome yeah i might cut the name off um it has my last name here 
Yeah. I might cut that off and put it on a, a new vest that I want to buy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's too bad, but you know, business has got to make decisions. I get it, but we, we, we had a good run with those guys and wish them the best. Uh, anyone watching this we're open to uh new sponsors and ideas um one star clothing <clears throat> um sorry i just uh <clears throat> i got a little tickle in my throat it must be my allergies but coles uh, <laughs> what did you say coles <laughs> oh god I literally <laughs> remember the one time we were like going to do a photo shoot i think it was what do you or rob or something and I was at, it was either Jeremy or me. I, we were at, I was at Kohl's and I was taking pictures and voxing you guys. And Jeremy yep. was like, don't you dare get that shirt. I have that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, um, if you look at the video for chance, I have a black t shirt on and Jeremy has a green shirt on. I originally had the same exact green shirt and he told me to take it off. Because he's wearing the green shirt. So I wore it for uh, if you leave me on. I, I I wore it for that video. And I said, I'm wearing the green shirt this time. Don't wear it. Yeah. Got to call your call your mark on that stuff you're going to wear. So um, I think there was also like we put it up on social media a few years back. Remember we were at the space and we had that. We both had like that gray shirt with the sc black skull on it. And I think oh, you yeah. took a picture of us and we were like, oh, shopping at the same Kohl's or something like that. <laughs> I think I didn't get the memo. I didn't get the memo. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah. So anyway, I've been staying away from Kohl's anyway. They, they've been, their prices have been a little, uh, a little bit up there. And uh, plus two, the, like you got to spend like a million dollars just to get $10 in Kohl's cash. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm not hearing that noise, you know? I can't even remember the last time I bought a shirt. Yeah, I was just kind of wearing. That's why I ordered. I'm trying to like order some of this stuff because I don't really shop for clothes because uh, shopping's a little ridiculous right now. But um, you know what we're missing right now, bro? The debate is happening right uh, with uh, Kamala and, and Trump. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I know. Well, it's funny. I was I was gonna talk to my parents before this just to check in because I didn't get to talk to them earlier. And uh, it's like, oh, I'll call you after the podcast. And they're like, yeah, we're watching the debate. Don't don't call. Talk to us tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I got shut down for politics. Damn, bro. Nice. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, no, dude, it's the same old freaking story. All the promises and you know. Yeah. Not to get political here, but. We like to keep it music. I'm just saying the debate's happening, so I don't know what's going to happen. All all I know is my my whole opinion on this is whoever's in office, please make the decisions that are right for the people of America. Make it easier for us. Get control of this economy, please, for the love of God. And don't be an idiot. And don't be an idiot. That's all I'm going to say. How's that? Is that good? Oh, great. David for president. Um, what are we doing? Yeah. Do you want to uh, do? You want to do riff of the week, and then we got we got to still play the uh, top, five top five ice cream flavors. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, do you got one? You you said you were thinking about one. Yeah. I, well, I got pan. Yeah, we'll start with the riff of the week. I'm going back a little old school here. I'm going with. Pantera, the art of shredding. Wow. That's a good song that that shreds, a lot of riffs in that one. The bridge on that one's great. Vinny rocked that one, and I'm you know me like I love I mean I love all the old school stuff. I'm not really ever mentioning Pantera, but I I think that that song has always been really good for them. I, I love that one. That one was released in the '90s, I think, but um, that one was cool. I like that. It has a lot of cool groove to it. Up, oh, Brendan's looking for one. He's looking for his weekly decision. Oh, you listen to uh, Pandera? 
No, I um, it was between two songs, and I was trying to see which one I liked better. Um, so, bleed from within. Uh, ascend. Wow! Wow! Bleed from within. Huh? Yeah, I've been uh, listening to a lot of them lately. Oh. Actually, last year was it last year? I think last year I watched um, them play. I think it was like Wacken or something. Um, <laughs> is it called Wacken? Yeah, it's Wacken. I know. It's just funny. Anyway. <laughs> was it Wacken? Is it Wacken? Um, I did not realize they were Scottish. Oh, okay. And he just like the screaming, singing, all that. And then in between the songs, he wants a circle pit, but he says it in like, oh no, he wants the wall of death. And, um, he just says it in the most Scottish accent. I'm like, when did that happen? Like, he's been Scottish this whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I know, man. It's it's crazy to hear the accents of these vocal, like when they're not singing, but their dictation or uh, diction or whatever, and all on how they phrase stuff is just completely different when they sing. It's crazy. Yeah, like um, Electric Cowboy. Yep, they're Swedish. This if. If you hear them talk, like it's just like the typical like Swedish. Oh hi! <laughs> yeah, same one in Flames. The band in Flames. Yeah. And, I mean Bush, Gavin Rossdale from Bush. I mean, you would never know. Like when I first heard him when I was younger, I was like, dude, this guy is straight out of America. No, he's from the UK, bro. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's he's uh, from England. Yeah. Oh, I never even noticed that. Which, by the way, I was at a few years back. Be, uh, uh, I went to see Bush, Chevelle, and a couple other bands at the, um, what's that white tent? The Pavilion in Boston. Yeah. And he was going around the audience, like hugging people. And he came over to me and he was, as he was putting his arm around me, I got a picture of it. Someone that was standing on the other side of me was like pulling him away. I'm like, come on. I was trying to get a photo. So the I have it it's online. It's blurred, but. I thought that Come was on, crazy. I was trying to grab some. Yeah. <laughs> Bleed from within, though. Nice. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've done. Yeah. I got a... Ice cream flavors. So yeah, I won again. It's FYI. Y'all win again because you use your own accounts to like your own poll. Jerk. <laughs> I, only mine and silent seasons. <laughs> I saw Enzo do it too. He did he went on his repercussion or whatever it was. That is old account, like <laughs> cheetahs. All right. Dave Grohl. Uh wow. Did you hear that? Dave Grohl? You said cheaters and I said Dave Grohl. I don't get it. You know, you haven't seen the 50 million posts about Dave Grohl? No. He just had a love child outside of his marriage. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Massive news all over online. They're like, he's trying to regain his trust with his wife and family like like i'm not talking trash about dave girl another another legend but dude come on like what do you, what do you expect bro you know he's, he's old too he should be having grandchildren <laughs> like come on man give me a break you know but anyway we, we won't get into that whole thing you said cheaters and i said dave Grohl, and i i i, I dropped that that's how me well this is going to be a very controversial episode of the <laughs> seasoned guys there's gonna be a lot of bleeping out and <laughs> well remember the show cheetahs i do and the guy got stabbed at one of them I oh know. yes i remember that yeah i remember like waking up in the middle of the night and that show would be on and i'm like oh i gotta watch this <laughs> i remember that. <laughs> that's crazy. crazy um yeah all right. All right.
You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I'm kind of sketched right. out. I'm in a parking lot and there's people like walking around me. <laughs> All right. Uh, since I won, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, oh, I got to write this all down. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. It's uh, all up in my head, bro. Well, I got to write down me and yours. Oh, yeah? And then I can post it. Let's see. Put it up on the poll, kid? Yep. All right. I am going to pick chocolate. You ready for mine? Go ahead. Oh, you got to have the countdown. When, dude, when are we doing the countdown? Ah, count. I, I got. All right. Ah. Uh, mint chocolate chip. Oh, mint chocolate. Uh, that's another one I, I could never get into. Um, I'm going to go with coffee. Ooh. I'm going to go with vanilla. Oh. Well, chocolate and vanilla, so it could be either or. Uh, cookie dough. Bubble gum. Wow, we're, we're, we're flying through this. <laughs> it's going to get hard for me, though. Uh, well, uh, let me just give him some more space there. Um, ooh. Oreo. Strawberry. Yep. Is that an ice cream flavor? Yeah, Oreo is one. I got strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberries. Strawberry. Oh, so this is already my last pick. Wow, we flew through this. Um, um, peanut butter. Do I get another one? Yep, this is your last one. Cookies and cream. Hmm. It's cookies and cream kind of... No, okay, never mind. I was going to say, is that kind of like Oreo? No, because cookie is Toll House, I think. Oh, that's cookie uh, dough. But cookies and cream is like a different cookie. Oreo is... It's, co it's a cookie and cream. Nah, get out of here. Get out of here. It's not the same. They're different flavors, bro. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see all what right. the let's see what the people say though. Yeah. All right, so I got chocolate, coffee, cookie dough, Oreo, and peanut butter. And Dave's got mint chocolate chip, vanilla, bubblegum, strawberry, and cookies and cream. What's up? That's gonna be the sugary sweet. It's going to be interesting. I already got my uh, next top five already picked. If I win. When I win. What's the next topic? You're not going to say it yet? No. <laughs> I should write it down, though. The mass reveal for next episode. <laughs> yeah, but if you, if you win, you get to pick. Oh. Yeah. I gotta, so what do you, 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 you won two already? I have one. Um, yeah, two. Yeah, it's been two. This is our third one. Ice cream flavors. I can take that off. Um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of ideas on my phone. I also have a bunch of ideas for other guests to join the show, too. I got some. I got a few people in my mind I want let's, to bring up to the stage. Let's, let's get them. Because yeah. everyone's bored of us. Yeah, I know. We definitely need a, a guest for the next one. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, we should run a test. We should test the, the live component. We keep, mm -hmm. keep the flirting with that idea. We got to do that. Yeah. We'll do that. Should... Q&A going. You know. Where should we do it? Uh, wh where or when? Where? Oh, do you want to be together? Probably be easier. No. Yeah. We could. We should do it by the beautiful Boston Harbor. It's a bit windy. A bit schwindy. A bit windy. Could probably do it in my back deck if it's not too late. 
Oh, you're back to it. And we get we could show the chickens. Yeah. How the chickens doing, dude? Still there laying eggs. Nice, bro. Same chickens or different ones? No, same chickens. Nice. Had them for like two years now. So there's Harry, Ben, Jimmy. Oh, they're all female. Females oh, lay no. the eggs. Oh, they're right. hens. Right, right, right. Uh, Shannon named them uh, Dolly, Miranda, and Jolene. <laughs> Jolene. You remember? Uh, yeah, you're not a Seinfeld guy. Dang. So yeah. I keep sharing this joke. No, it was just this whole thing about George's father was at a dinner and was talking to Seinfeld's parents, and they were they were saying like hens and chickens like screwing to get a an egg or something. I was like, dude, what the hell are they talking about? You get you can find the clip and put it up. It's hilarious, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> well, we didn't notice this um, until we got the chickens, but you know the color of the chicken is the color of the egg? I, I didn't know that represent the color of the chicken. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, so like our chickens are brown, so we get the brown eggs. But if you get a white chicken, oh, nice. it does white eggs. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, you learn something new every day. I know, it's crazy. How's the chicken coop? You got the coop? You got the whole thing built? Yeah, we got the coop. We got the run. Runs where they all do it. And Shannon's even let them out. And they oh. walk walk around the yard. And they, they, um, they're known for um, eating ticks. Really? Yes, yeah, so you let them out in the yard. They go away eating bugs and ticks and all that. And yeah. Um, so you hold them and you touch them? The chickens? No. No. Uh, no, you don't I, do that. No, if I get near them, they just start flying away. <laughs> you should see them when I uh, go near it with the lawnmower and the uh, weed whacker. They just freak out and they hide yeah. inside the coop. But what, uh, do, what do you do during the winter? Like you put them in the. How yeah, they come work? in the house. No, dude, shut up. No, <laughs> no they. Their coop is uh, isolated, so um, or insulated, um, so they they stay warm. Bro, they got the life over uh, up in the, your area, there, kid. Yeah, there's a they, lot of people with chickens in this area. They got uh, goats they got too. Eat. They're living off the. They're living off your grid. They got TV, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, uh, there's some people with goats. Um, just down the street. Nice goats, chickens. Some uh, someone's got a rooster. I don't. I don't know if you're supposed to have a rooster, but we can hear it. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know your town was so domesticated. Yeah, there's a lot of farms around here. Remember in Reading, I had those neighbors next to me. They had the huge coop with where the brown fences in the back. Yeah. They they had lots of am, animals, bro. They had like chickens and oh, I forgot what they they had a pig at one point. They had a pig. I'm like, "Bro, what is this stone zoo? Come on." <laughs> a, a neighbor. And then I had another neighbor right near the train tracks that had like a garage with a lift built in front of the house. I'm like, "How did they get that approved? How do you That's put a crazy. lift in a garage?" On a on a uh, on a like um, a a regular residential house, like I've never seen that before. Like a wheelchair lift, or no, like a car lift you see at Midas. Oh wow! Yeah, so they built a garage in the front of the house, and they they had a lift put in there, and the guy works on his cars, like a legitimate lift. I've never seen that ever. She well, maybe it's a business was it just his car he worked on or other people's just, cars? Yeah, just working on his car because i if he ran a business i think there would have been a you know he had to like jump through a lot of hoops and stuff like that but i don't know i, I my my street was getting out of hand so i think my that's why my parents decided to pack it up and uh find solace in a quiet new hampshire area <laughs> mm. everyone's making the move up north anyway yeah my neighborhood's wicked quiet 
That's good. I remember, um, so like we put the offer down and Shannon hadn't even seen the house yet. And oh, wow. Yeah, she she was like, oh, I trust you. I'm like, oh, you sure? Damn, bro. <laughs> I That's should have got a bigger crazy. house. <laughs> uh-huh. She didn't even see the house, and she's like, go for it? Wow. Yeah, so then nice. um, we were just touring it one day after I got out of work, and because uh, we already got the bid and everything. And um, uh, the realtor let us in, and so me and Shannon go to the front. I'm like, wait, do you hear that? She's like, what? I hear nothing. I'm like, exactly. There's nothing. It's so quiet. Yeah. You, you got, you lucked out on the street. You're that's a great street. That's quiet. Yeah. I'm on a main road. So I got, a, well, the good thing is that we have a hospital near us, but I got fire engines and ambulances going up and down. But I mean, for the most part, it's, it's not crazy. It's just, a little bit more traffic than I like, but hey, man, you know you got to start somewhere. Yeah, and it's it's a nice street too because it it comes in from the main road and then goes into you and goes back to the main road, so it's not a through street. So like after school, like all the kids, they just all play in the street. Yeah, and you you barely see any guys. That's true. That's great for Scar and Joey. They can just yeah at their big wheels or whatever they got and they're just hanging out. Like that's cool. Yeah. Um, street hockey. Street hockey. Yep. Yep. So is that? So is that like a? Is that technically? No. Is that a cul-de-sac or? No, it's just the street goes in a big giant U. Okay, so it, there's another exit out from where you are. Yeah, there's actually two streets. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. I'm not gonna mention the street in case there's any crazy fans watching. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Stalkers. Stalkers or people that like to create our videos with AI voices on them. <laughs> Uh-oh. We Whoops. Do. Whoops. No, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect. Thanks for your fanship. Um, wow, man. We blew through an hour or almost already. That went quick, man. Mm-hmm. You and I have been on the phone for like an hour and a half. We did like a half hour of meeting and then <laughs> the and podcast. I, and we almost started it. I was like, all right, you ready? And then we went to a whole all a different discussion before I even hit record. All the uh behind the scenes stuff that no one can really hear. Yeah. It's it's after ten o'clock. <laughs> I've been so, up since four thirty. You're out of your mind, bro. Four thirty. Well, yeah, Joey woke up. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, someone at James' school gave, like, they gave the kids, like, the toy whistles. I don't know Aww. what that's something that thought that was a great idea. So he was blowing it at, like, 435 on Sunday morning. Oh, Jesus. And and he's, like, he's been into, like, a lot of horror stuff. He's, like, a spirit Halloween kind of kid. He loves the Five Night at Freddy's. Like, we tried not to let him watch too much of that stuff, but... He sees, like, he hears about it from friends at school and stuff. So um, he has, he wants to be that for Halloween. <laughs> we bought oh, him a shit. mask at Spirit Halloween. And, like, he wears it. He'll come into our room in the morning, and he scares the hell out of me. He, like, <laughs> literally puts his hands on me. He goes, boo. And I jump up, like, someday either my wife or my son are going to give me a heart attack. And I'm yep. going to die. Yep. I'm going to die. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> And you got double the trouble. You got two kids, bro. So get ready. I know. They're crazy. <laughs> they're crazy. Halloween they're, stuff, man. They, Halloween they, starts in August these days. That's the thing. It's crazy. Yeah. I know. I can't wait. I like your idea about the Halloween show. We were talking to the to the people listening. We're trying to do a Halloween, maybe a Halloween gig. Try to plan something out there. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to work that out. Yeah. That'd be cool. Try to m- maximize the rest of the months of this year. Play as long as we can. Do more shows. <coughs> Octane. And um, get back out there. Oh, 
he's not he's unraveling the mic. We know it's it's almost time. I just want to get in a better position. I'm just uh... yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'm a snooze. I'm a snoozer. Um, is that? I, there was something else I was gonna say, but I think that's. I think that's it, right? Is that what we got for this episode? Yeah, sure. Expect a guest on the next one. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll do a guest, and then I think maybe two or three episodes out, we'll dabble into the live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, forgot. I already forgot about that. We're going to do it before it uh, starts getting cold here. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring the Jägermeister. You supply the same atoms. I can do that. All right. Oh, we'll get some cigars going, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, 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 it's been a minute since I've had a cigar, so that'd be cool. I'm in, I'm in on that. I used to smoke cigars on the boat, on Vinny's boat. Well, technically, your boat. <laughs> All the time. Uh, another story for another episode. Um yeah yeah i we vinny used to buy those things and smoke them like they were going out of style i I haven't had one all summer yeah yeah and a a manager that we have that again i won't mention any names was an avid cigar guy and he used to cut them in my car when we were going to shows and my car would reek for uh, for, uh, as of cigars for like weeks and my, my people would be coming in my parents would be like you, when did you start smoking cigars i'm like don't ask it's not me <laughs> yeah i remember we went to the studio and he, he was like you don't mind if i do this right and you're like yeah yeah go ahead oh yeah that's right he was at the studio and he was lighting it up yeah. dude <laughs> none of that spaceship shit bro no i saw the music at one point but then you started going to another story about cigars I'm starting it again. Outro song. You okay. can't. You can't hear it, can you? No. All right. Well, it's going. All right, kids. All right, kids. Rock on. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.